you about ready to shake and bake this one up or what? Let's do it, Ricky Bobby. It's talent. There you go. <laughs> Sheldon Creed on the inside and Austin Hill on the outside. The Gander Trucks at Talladega for a playoff elimination race. And we are green. Up through the gears, grabbing them. Third gear, about fourth gear now. And now we're going to see who's got the, the uniform line as far as the draft and how they're going to push each other. Not too aggressive, right, Mike? It's early on, but we'll see. Yeah, they've got to bump. That's how you get momentum. You bump into the back of the other truck, and that's a dangerous game because the wrong bump into the truck in front of you can send him sideways into that other line. And you can watch. I get nervous already, Vince. See all the bobbing and weaving? Those are trucks that are just on the edge of spinning out because of the contact, but that's how you race in Talladega. Now you can bump, but you can't lock bumpers. That's a penalty. And as the setups have evolved at Talladega, the, the trucks are a little bit more unstable on the straightaway, and then they're more stable in the corners. But the worst part of the track is right here through the trial. This is where you're on edge the most because you're in between loads. You're not on straightaway. You're not in the banking. It makes a trial of one of the most treacherous spots on the track at Talladega attest to this. When you have trouble early... Ooh, oh, there we oh, go! Sheldon Creed! How you going to do it, buddy? That is going to jumble up everybody wow. up front. Good save. Oh. No! Big accident deeper in the field. The accordion effect wiped out huge. There's Zane Smith. Oh, Joe man. Nemechek. Playoff drivers involved in that one. Dawson Graham in that 41. Man, that's a mess. Heavy damage. The 30 of Danny Bone involved. There's the 41 of Cram, as Michael mentioned. Now you're you're okay if you're Grand Infinger, you know? You, you, you got out of line, you survived. Yeah, he's two laps down, but man, there is some carnage, and Zane Smith's day is done. We'll as, get a, a lineup of all the other damage from all the other trucks, too. Well, and Zane Smith, as we mentioned, one of our championship contenders, came into this race 39 to the good. And now he's done just 14 laps in. Joe Nemechek. Talked to Joe Nemechek before the race. He said he had breast cancer awareness on that truck and he was really looking forward to charging to the front. He said, I'm gonna go like I've never gone before. And unfortunately, his day's gonna end early. Wow, that accordion effect. We were watching the leader cross and change lanes and then we've got a ton of guys in the back. It's crazy to say, but this started it. The block that Sheldon Creed throws right there, it backed the field up. Creed, uh, Creed saved it, but uh, as you said, Mike, it backed others up, and that's what led to the accident. Watch this move. It's just too late to get back to the bottom, and it's not like Austin Hill can check up that quick. And then the accordion effect happens, and it's about the fifth or sixth truck back on the inside lane where it bottles up. And those guys are all along for the ride. Nothing that Zane Smith can do. The 17 truck was trying to go around the outside. It's just when, when you're now blocking, the wrecks are starting up further and further and further. Big run on the outside from Austin Hill. He's got a tight draft from Gillen. Gillen's rebounding after that bad first lap. We've got the KBM trucks on the inside running uh, second and third on the inside lane. Let's see what those, these guys are able to do. Tyler Wright from fourth on the inside. I just hope they make it. <laughs> everybody's white knuckling right now. Coming down through the trial, everybody's up on edge. Gil Lance pushing Hill. For the stage one win, who's gonna get it? Austin Hill. And that happened because the inside lane wanted to break up a little bit. They didn't quite stay as aggressive as Todd Gilliland right there helped control that for Hill, and Gilliland needed that. Mix to advance. Radio for Matt Crafton in the 88. Big picture. We lost two of them in that wreck, so this be smart. It was amazing. You heard that that fret in the voice of Crafton. Oh, oh, oh. this ain't going to end up good. Oh, big hit. Gustine driving for Timmy Hill and the Hill brothers this weekend. Been running up toward the top ten, Vince, and just the truck's got a little bit out of shape. And, and Gus, he, he was just simply a victim of circumstance. Man, those are tough hits. Those are tough hits. Former winner here in the ARCA series and certainly had high hopes for today. 
running around on the bottom, and it looked like, uh, oh, he just overreacted. And then, <laughs> and then um, the 15, sorry, Gray wanted to get back to the bottom. That, that was two guys trying to, like, walk down the hallway at each other, and they both chose the same position at the same time. Gus yeah. Dean was running 10th at the time, and here's that contact with Tanner Gray. Man, Tanner Gray just cut him off. I mean, there's no two ways around that. Yeah, I mean, I think Gray was stressing because he got shoved into the middle right here, and he's trying to get back low, but he was down there. Cut him off twice. <laughs> and the second one was just uh, Dean couldn't, couldn't withstand that one. There's times when you're in the middle, and you're like, everybody's driving by. Oh. Man, it's a hard hit. And you're checking the mirror at the same time, right, Mike? And you kind of lose track of where you are if you're on the middle or if you're on the low lane. There's a lot going on when you're the guy that's in the middle. Heartbreaker and, for Todd Gilliland. And it was, I've, I've never seen anybody play the accordion fence, but as Kurt pointed out, again, it's the accordion effect. And it's gonna be about four or five trucks behind where the trouble started. And there's Gray, he gets spit out. Man, hard hit. Here's right along with uh, Gray. Look at the Gray is what he's trying to look at. And it, was that a small hit from Austin Hill? Just a small little itty bitty hit as they were coming onto the straightaway. That's where vehicles are their loosest or their most vulnerable. It's right on corner exit, right there. Fortunate that didn't collect more. And keep an eye on the 99, the 18, and the 88. Those are the three drivers around the bubble and fighting for that final position as far as a playoff survivor is concerned. We're back green with a couple to go at Talladega. Rafael Lasar give it a big push to Stuart Friesen out front. In the inside lane, got lined up way quicker. Everybody bailed out of the top lane. Way more trucks on the inside. The 13 is the one that got a bad restart. Trevor Bain in the 45 and Ben Rhodes in the 99 right on his bumper. Push, push, push Brett push, push. Moffitt is there in the 23. Jordan Anderson in the three. And he says, see, I'm going this way. Oh, he's got to check up right there. <laughs> Lazard made the block. Now Bain's got some help from behind with Tyler Ankrum, Chandler Smith, Derek Kraus. Crafton looking for somewhere to go way back there, but freezing right now. He's busy. He's trying to block all lanes. Oh, Ankrum gets up and out of the mix. Lazard. Ankrum needs those positions. He needs those points. Rafael Lazard now getting a big push from Ben Rhodes while Trevor Bain is giving a shove to Stuart Friesen. It's the final lap at Talladega for the Gander Trucks. It is all on the line. These guys are pushing. They're not worried about it anymore, They're about just saving this or saving that. This is wide open. Three, four wide. Everybody's changing lanes. Lasard sideways is the leader on the inside. Oh, Ben Rhodes trying to keep Five it wide. gathered up. Some contact and, and now start. around goes Friesen. Will they stay green? Ankrum is around as well. So is Eckes. Oh, the yellow is out. And the caution has come out. And as they're, as they're scored, I have Friesen on my board, but I don't see him. Rafael <laughs> Lazard. <laughs> Where'd he go? We was need out to... there at the front as well. That's Lassard and Trevor Bain running oh, as man. the top two. And there's Austin Hill getting out of his truck as it's on fire. And as we stand right now, Ankrum is in. And there's, Eckes is there, out. There's why you didn't see Friesen. And that's... Uh, he was leading. That's where our... So there was two different wrecks. <laughs> and Christian Eckes there in the 18. They'll have to go to the video. And uh, also check the scoring loops. I think I, if I had to, I hate to speculate, but I think the four truck of Rafael Lassard had control of the race when the caution flew, but we'll have to see. Trevor Bain thought he did. He drove around Lassard going to the checker. Tough, tough break for Friesen. Really tough break wow. for Christian Eckes as well. Boy, and for Rafael Lassard, how big it is. And he has been declared the winner, the four of Rafael Lassard. The young Canadian, the 19-year-old from Quebec, gets his first career win. And wow. he does it at Talladega. Muscled his way up through there on that restart and was able to get to the bottom and have those trucks on the bottom stay with him. But man, there was chaos everywhere. Everybody was going for all that they could get. And it's amazing to see how the playoff points all turned out. And right now, Zane Smith, who was wrecked way back, will advance. 
That is so cool for Rafael Assard. And Christian Eckes, heartbroken. He was in a great position, but he's going to have to get into the ambulance for that ride to the care center as is mandatory, and he will not move on to the next round wow. while his teammate Lassard celebrates the win. And that that's just the, the way owners, only one of these NASCAR teams work. One guy out, one guy celebrating a victory lane. Well, and with the accident happening behind them, it would have been interesting to have seen Lassard and Trevor Bain maybe battle it out to the finish. But Lassard gets that opportunity to do the burnout for the first time in his NASCAR career. He just got consistently better and better, Vince, all year long. We talked about it. The improvement behind the wheel has been remarkable, and, and he's rewarded with a win at Talladega. Impressive job. It's about being in the right place at the right time. And uh, like you said, Michael, it's, uh, it's, it's bittersweet. It's, it's heartbreaking agony in one side of it, and then it's joy and, and satisfaction for Kyle Busch Motorsports to have this guy as a winner at Talladega and to have Ankrum miss the cutoff and not have a shot to race for the championship. The fifth different driver to get his first career win this season, joining Sheldon Creed, Zane Smith, Sam Mayer, and Brandon Jones. And the third different driver with KBM to win, joining Brandon and Kyle Busch. And today is Rafael Lassard's day, Alan. Oh we'll give him a minute to catch his breath. This track, the last few years, has always delivered a surprise in terms of the playoff race here at Talladega for the trucks. Another one delivered today. Rafael Lassard, career win, number one. Tell me about those. Last oh my few gosh, laps. that was that was awesome. First of all, I want to thank everyone back home, my team, Kabush Motorsport, Kenek on board with us this year. Ah man, Mobile One, Toyota, TRD. This is amazing. I can't believe it. I, it's my second super speedway race, and doing my first truck series win here is amazing. We'll show you the replay of just how close this was coming to the caution. What's going through your head as there's nothing between you except some feet? Yeah, <laughs> and the it was flag. like, I don't know who was behind me, but he gave me a heck of a push. Uh, I can't thank him enough because he's part of that win too. He pushed me as hard as he could. And I was just holding on for the ride, and damn, the caution came out at the right time, and I'm so happy. It's my first time doing a burnout after a win, so, man, I loved it. Hopefully I can do it some more. You are a rookie. Tell me what this year has been like for you. Your family's in Canada. I know you haven't been able to travel or see them as much as, as you would in a, any normal year. What's it been like for you, and then to have it end like this? Uh, it's been pretty crazy to be a... Uh, I moved here in the... Uh, in Morrisville, North Carolina, in February, uh, in January, and it's a crazy year to be your first time moving from home. And uh, my family is all in Quebec, Canada, so it's been crazy. I haven't seen them in a while, but uh, I want to say hi to everyone back in Quebec, my family. And damn, that I needed that. We had a tough season, so I. Hey, this one feels really good. A big celebration all over North America, guys. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.